Hi, I'm Jay McFarland and I'm the fashion director of the Sunday Times Style. Today I'm going to show you how to style four key pieces from H&M's new Conscious Collection. We're all thinking more consciously about our consumption. For me, that means having less pieces in our wardrobe, but finding clothes that work that little bit harder. I've chosen four key pieces today, a great pair of jeans, a simple coat, classic white shirt, and a good piece of knitwear. And I'm gonna show you how to style them in a load of different ways. Today, I'm joined by two very stylish, fabulous models, Destiny and Zeb. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Times Style YouTube channel. The first piece I'm gonna look at today is the perfect winter coat. I think it's something everyone needs in their wardrobe. I always am looking for something a little bit smarter because it means I can wear it to work and then I can also wear it the weekend. We styled it today like Destiny would be going to the office. Looking very smart. I love how it's styled with riding boots, which as we know is like a, quite a big trend this season and a classic roll neck, which again is something everyone has in their wardrobe. Again, we've done something really paired back with the styling. We've gone for a more casual look here. It's actually almost like slouchy tracks of bottoms and a t-shirt, but really easily if we added smart shoes, smart brogues, and maybe put a white shirt on underneath, this coat would be super chic. Destiny, you finished your day at the office. It's time for after work drinks. Let's go. We've just taken a roll neck off and already this look in my mind is totally transformed. The coat again feels really different, worn just over the black dress on its own. And we've added some hoop earrings, which I think just makes all the difference. I'm gonna come in and just create a bit of a new shape. This belt is not your classic belt, which I love. It actually almost works like a piece of jewelry. And I think as you can see, all of a sudden it just makes this look super elevated. All right, Zab, I actually don't think you need too much, and but maybe if I was going out, I'd add a scarf. Yeah. What's your flavor? Black. He's gonna go yeah. classic, he's gonna go classic. <laughs> if you did want something a little bit more fashion, you could actually go for a contrast print and really bring the black and white monochrome look to life. Yeah, I like it. These scarves are actually from the women's department, so it's really important that you take a good look around the store, men's department, women's department, because guaranteed you're gonna find something that works for you. Okay, second look, the not so classic white shirt. Come on in guys. Big colors has obviously been a huge trend for the last couple of seasons, and now it's firmly part of the fashion vocab. This is going nowhere. I think when people think about white shirt, they just don't realize that this is something that they could have in their wardrobe that they could wear in lots of different ways. I think even just by tucking it in, the shape already totally changes. Wear with a pair of high-waisted jeans like we've got on Destiny at the moment, and already that's quite an elevated look. If you wanted to wear it on the weekend, personally, I'd go for a pair of super lo-fi chunky boots. Any preference? What are you thinking? Yes. This already looking distinctly less Victoriana. One last thing, super cozy, chunky cardigan, really comfortable, makes a statement. I absolutely love it from the back. I think it's very sailor, it's very cute. Okay, so we've done the weekend look, now we're going to work, and guess what? The shirt still works. All we're gonna do is switch the cardigan. A statement collar doesn't always need to make a statement. I love it like this. It's a little bit more subtle. It's hidden underneath a blazer. Maybe we can also add a bit of a neck scarf, which for me is just a super cute look. We also have one more look to show you how you can wear a white shirt like this in the summer. You have shorts, you have sandals. We have no summer, but it's coming. It's coming, guys. I think it's really easy for men to get white shirts wrong. I think it can go too corporate, too starchy, too serious. So I love this one with a subtle blue stripe. I think it's really cool. Just a little peek of jewelry makes all the difference. Super easy to switch this one around. We just lose the white t-shirt, button up the shirt, and maybe add a pair of slightly smarter trousers. And I happen to have the perfect pair. And just like that. Next up is the perfect pair of jeans. Everyone needs a pair in their wardrobe. It's such a classic, it's such a staple. I have a confession to make. I stole Zav's jeans. I saw him wearing them. I saw the fit. I just love the slouchy kind of 90s looks. Super cool weekend style, t-shirt, boots, belt, sunnies, done. 
two options. Something quite 90s, which goes under the arm. Cute. Or maybe a crossbody. Nice. How do we dress up denim for night? Let's add some color, let's add some heels. I think it's gonna look great. For guys, it's much easier. All you need is a great pair of shoes. I think you should try these. Same pair of jeans, two totally different looks. As mentioned with Sav, all we need to do is switch up the shoes. So we've added a pair of Chelsea boots, same white tee he's been wearing pretty much throughout, thrown on another shirt, and again, we've gone from something that was super lazy Sunday to something pretty smart. Destiny has kept the same pair of high-waisted jeans, slightly 90s, styled it with a cool sheer shirt, some heels. I think that's the best thing about a pair of jeans. They often look even better with a pair of heels than they do trainers. I don't really think you need much else. Maybe just a pair of earrings. Voila, perfect. The fourth and final piece of our capsule wardrobe is a cozy knit. I'm gonna start with that because this is pretty much how we all wear jumpers all the time. Slouchy, comfortable, day on the sofa, done. If you're gonna leave the house, amp up the cozy factor with something like this. Love this look. He looks super smart. This is not like lounging around in like dirty sweatpants. No, no. It's really easy to be super comfortable and also look stylish. Go for a tonal color palette. Make sure it's all a bit matchy-matchy, a bit coordinated, and you've got a very cool look. For something a little bit more unexpected, but no less amazing, is Destiny's cropped knitwear situation. It's basically a party jumper. I love the bright orange color. I like that it's really ribbed. It's super close to the body. This is properly bodycon in a jumper, which I love. Throw in an awesome bag, and you're ready to go. Knitwear, obviously, is not also just for parties. It can be worn in loads of different ways. Something like this quite classic blazer, pop it over an orange turtleneck and you've got a totally different vibe. Gonna lose the necklace, because I'm sorry, Destiny, party's over. And I think just by a really simple change of shoes into something more daytime, masculine, chunky black, she's got herself a totally new look, perfect for work. Guys, any favourites? I think this is definitely my favourite. It's nice and warm, cosy for the winter months. We saved the best for last. Destiny, talk me through your favourite look. I think my favourite look would have to be his or my relaxed fit jeans because they were so comfortable and versatile and just everything that I could wish for in a pair of jeans. Sad jeans, which I'll let you two fight over. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Time Style YouTube channel.